Hi, I'm Tim from LapsToShutter.com and in this video we're going to cover what to do if your Philips TV has got a blue tint and how to fix it in just a few minutes at home. So there's six possible fixes I'm going to briefly cover. If you want any more detail on any of them, then check out the linked article in this video's description below. So we'll start with the simplest fixes. Um, and the first fix is just to try power cycling your TV. So this often does fix it, even though it's a very basic thing to do. Make sure your TV is switched off and unplug it, and then hold down the physical power button on the TV for at least 15 seconds. Wait for a few minutes for any residual power to drain from the TV's capacitors, then plug your TV back in and try switching it on. This does um, fix the issue for, for a lot of people. If it's not worked for you, then check your HDMI cables uh, and that a poorly seated cable is not automatically switching inputs um, and creating signal noise in a blue tint. So just try removing all of your HDMI and uh, any other physical cables other than the power cable. Then switch your TV on, pull up the on-screen menu and see if the blue tint is over the on-screen menu. If it's not, then the issue is likely to be one with one of the uh, HDMI connections. So just try giving them a good clean with compressed air and uh, reinserting them one by one until you find the um, faulty connector. If you still got the blue screen over the on-screen menu, then you can try, if the issue is not too bad, just uh, changing the colour settings in the uh, picture menu of your TV. So if you press settings on your remote and go to picture settings, you can try reducing the backlight contrast and then uh, go to expert mode settings. Try setting the colour temperature to warm, or if that's uh, not good enough, then try custom and see if you can manually just uh, change the colour temperature to get it back to how you like it. There's also a Y point alignment option where you can uh, adjust the individual blue channels. Uh, you can reduce those, uh, maybe increase red and green to compensate and see if you can balance the colour that way. If the blue tint's too strong for this to work, and then first of all, just make sure your firmware is up to date. So uh, hopefully you should have auto updating your firmware on anyway, but just to make sure, go to settings, and then all settings, update software, and search for updates. Uh, choose internet, and uh, then start the process. If you don't have an internet option to update your TV, and you have to do it via USB, then you could just check out the article below for tips on how to do that. Uh, finally, before we get into any hardware fixes, just try factory resetting your TV. So that's in uh, general settings and then it's called reinstall TV for Philips. And if that hasn't fixed the issue, then it's um, almost certainly uh, a backlight failure. So as your TVs get older than two or three years, um, it's very common for them to start developing a blue tint, which gets worse and worse over time. And this is because of how the LEDs are designed. So um, TV LEDs use blue light LEDs as their base, and they then put a phosphor yellow coating over the LED. And the blue light going through the yellow coating creates white light for a white backlight. But after uh, a couple of years, the phosphor can burn off and that means the blue light from the LED is coming through and uh, that gives the screen a blue tint. So the only way to fix this is just to replace the LEDs themselves. But uh, this is actually very simple and easy to do. Um, you do have to disassemble your TV um, and that will invalidate your warranty. But um, as long as you remember which screws you removed and where you removed them from, you won't have any problem putting it all back together again. You can easily buy replacement LED strips uh, from eBay. They come in standard lengths that are just um, connected together. You should be able to just snap the connectors together, hopefully, and um, they'll just fit into slots on your TV's panel itself. But there's more tips on how to do that in the linked article below. So if you want to get into that, then uh, have a look at that article.